in this screencast video lecture we are going to see about the nitrifying bacteria this is also an important hemolithotrophic bacteria as the name implies this bacteria use reduced inorganic nitrogen compound such as ammonia and nitrate as their sources of energy for growth and metabolism here ammonia is oxidized to nitrate by one group of nitrifiers which is referred as a ammonia oxidizing bacteria or ammonia oxidizers their overall reaction has been shown there ammonia in the presence of oxygen it is oxidized there into nitrate during this process you will be getting energy that would be used for atp synthesis the next process is the nitrate that have been formed by ammonia oxidizers is further oxidized to nitrate by another group of organism called as a nitrite oxidizers the overall reaction is nitrite is converted into nitrate with the release of energy that energy will be used for again atp synthesis by the organism you look at the next point there no single nitrifying bacterium was able to oxidize ammonia all the way to nitrate this is a very old point that is the reason i have striked that point recently they have identified a group of organism called as a comomox that is complete ammonia oxidizing bacteria this bacteria basically belonging to the phylum nitrospira they are all capable of completely oxidizing ammonia to nitrate in the diagram you can able to see a complete oxidation of ammonia to nitrate that have been shown there in the red color normally the two groups of nitrifying bacteria that is the ammonia oxidizers as well as nitrite oxidizers grow in close association the environment since the two sequential oxidation steps need to be coupled together that is both the process need to happen simultaneously since the nitrate that have been formed in the first steps are always toxic for the higher organism if it get accumulated there in the environment nitrifying bacteria are found in all soil and aquatic habitats and are especially common in alkaline and neutral ph environments this organism grow well in pure culture on completely inorganic media most species are also able to utilize organic carbon sources such as acetate for their growth which intend to mean that they are facultative hemolithotrophic in nature they have a generation times of 24 hours or more the reason for their poor growth in the pure culture may be attributed to reasons such as toxicity of nitrate on the growth and metabolism of these organisms now we look at the points related to the first group of organism that is ammonia oxidizers they are capable of oxidizing ammonia to nitrous acid which involves two major steps with hydroxyl amine as an intermediate in the process the two steps have been catalyzed as shown in the reaction first steps involve the enzyme ammonia monooxygenase for its activity whereas the second step essentially required hydroxylamine oxido reductase enzyme to carry out the process on collective operation of these two reactions they are able to get enough amount of energy that is required for synthesizing their atp the important group of nitrifying bacteria have been listed here the first group comprises of ammonia oxidizers important organisms here are nitrosomonas nitrosospira nitrosolobus and the second group is a nitrite oxidizers the important organism here is a nitrobacter and finally you can able to see one genera named nitrospira it specifically belong to a phyla called as a nitrospira it's a separate phylum which mainly contain the comomox group of organism which i have earlier discussed that is that can able to perform the whole process in a single step that is from ammonia to nitrate instead of two different groups that is ammonia oxidizers and nitrite oxidizers are involved in their process the next one is the nitrite oxidizers the nitrite oxidation is a single step oxidation process it is carried out by the enzyme nitrite oxido reductase the overall reaction have been shown there in which significant amount of energy is generated 
that could be useful for ATP synthesis. Most nitrifying bacteria have a complex internal membrane system that contains cytochromes and these intracytoplasmic membranes are thought to contain the cytochrome system that acts as a site for ammonia or nitrate oxidation as well as they are the sites involved in the generation of the reducing equivalents like NADH. Finally, we look at into the ecological significance of this nitrifying group of organisms. Even though they occur as a low population there in the various habitats, they are very active metabolically there in the environment. Nitrite does not accumulate in most environment mainly due to the tight coupling between the ammonia oxidation as well as nitrite oxidation process. Therefore, nitrite which is a toxic or mutagenic molecule for the plants or animal will be typically occurring at a very low concentration in the environment which is mainly due to the rapid oxidation of the nitrite to nitrate molecule. The activities of nitrifying bacteria are especially important in soil environment as they play an important role there in the nitrogen cycling. Among the various nitrogen sources, ammonium form of nitrogen is a preferred source of nitrogen for the crop fertilizer. The principal reason behind that is ammonium are more readily retained in the soil because it is positively charged. Nitrate on the other hand is highly soluble and they may readily leach it out from the soils. There is also a chance in which the nitrate formed by the action of the nitrifiers can be further converted into atmospheric nitrogen by the denitrifying group of organism. As a result, the nitrogen may completely lost from the soils. For this reason only, certain commercially available fertilizers like nitropyrin have been developed which can able to influence control over the nitrification process thereby they can minimize the nitrogen loss from the soil. One more environment in which the ammonia will be dominating is the sewage as it contains a lot of proteins and amino acids which undergoes degradation or decomposition that results in the accumulation of ammonia. As a result, ammonia will be discharged in the huge quantities in the sewage outfalls. This in turn increase the biochemical oxygen demand since the process of nitrification requires oxygen. Due to this reason only, the modern wastewater treatment plants are designed to encourage the growth of nitrifying bacteria within the treatment plant so that the downstream water may not contain more amount of nitrogen compound which may cause eutrophication problems when such a sewage water has been discharged into water bodies like ponds.